confronting the treacherous brigands and oathbreakers of Ostcalibrant, you have discovered a concealed passage that reeks of dread. What horrors could be lurking beneath the crumbling ruins? Do we really want to know? I suppose so. That's what we came here for. And up here, are we good? Well, I think we definitely found a place where there are brigands, right? Yeah. Well, we have to take care of that. Oh, these things are numerous. You quit that. Quit it. Quit it, I say. Now we can go against this. Think about that ghost fights well, but he certainly likes to start a fight with others when he has half a chance to do so. Hey, let's be quiet and get whack, 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 whack. Yeah. Well, and that's why I didn't even bother attempting stealth in this particular group of quests. Maybe we'll just switch to yellow line or something like that. Since it may have proved more useful, since I, well, I still have my tricks. Well, not my tricks, that's yellow line. My mm, gambles. Yes, gambles, that's what you call those silly things that you get in this line. All right, now let's see, we will. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, he, this, this, this. You, you can do that, you can do that. And we'll be done with them. And maybe we'll be done with them before that ghost notices what we're doing. I don't know what these guys are planning with these brigands and all, and those that Easterling and everything else that's going on. You think I remember? Nope, Daisy. Maybe just something to help to pay for the Easterling army. That's always a possibility. Nice, clear, simple motive. Uh, this is Lotro. Not necessarily that simple, but we shall find out. Down more stairs. And, oh. Oh, I didn't see you. You're sneaky. Hard to see. But it is substantial. Almost like you're a ghost or something. Ouch. Oh, there are two of them. Huh. Not that they have any critical spots on these things. I think I need uh, a little bit extra to eat before I... I think this is the first character I've had where I've actually put Dale Men's Crams on my hot bar. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah. Uh, uh, another one here. Hmm. Uh, you go there. I say, present this ghost with two targets. He will attack a third. That's it. It's all these little hurts here that me wish I did choose yellow line. That way I could have my heels. Whack. 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 And whack. There you go. Now... Dead end. Ha! I... Oh, no. We've got another stairway down. Okay, uh, for a moment there I thought, oh no, and I'm on cool down for my riddle. Fortunately, he turned around. We will deal with this traitor. He's a traitor. It, it says it on his nameplate. I could call him that. He, he It says it right on his nameplate that he's a traitor. Oh, we are. 
Notice the strange banners adorning the hall. But there's no sign of the Easterling. Okay. Well, those aren't Easterling banners. Those are... Well, actually, what do I know what Easterling banners look like? But They look like something out of Mordor rather than the Easterlings. I know the Easterlings are... Well, I guess at this stage of the game, we don't necessarily know that the Easterlings have direct connections with Mordor, right? Mm, Ooh, around here. You guessed it wrong! But that's quite a haul for dining, I gotta say. Uh, how do you get down there? Now, of course, I am a burglar, so I do have a fast way down. That doesn't involve breaking... Oh. What there is there? But you wonder, what is the intended way... Oh. Wait on. No. What is the intended way down, architecturally? Because obviously people are intended to be able to get down here one way or the other, right? Because you don't have this big, long central hall and no way down to it. Well, I have no idea if that's supposed to hurt or not, so I'll do that. Now, you're a ghost. You could jump down. Yeah, all right, good. He goes, right. I'm trapped! Oh, hold on. That's, uh... I told you it looked Mordor-esque. Look at that. Statue for Sauron. Necromancer statue, yeah. Ooh. Well, I am hardly surprised that you're here. They believe they were chosen by the eye to serve. Such fools, they're merely a tool for my people. Still, they delayed you long enough. Hmm. These men you aid are beyond helping. They would sooner fight amongst themselves than help us. My people will engulf this land in a terror, and when the last dark, the shadow of our master will fall upon them. Neither you nor your input... Oh, come on, don't talk. If you're going to give a master speech, give me time to read it. Good grief. That's fine. Hey, I thought the entire reason for a... Mastermind Megalomaniac was to give a speech that everyone will hear and revel in and then deny. And then you attack them and try to kill them and all. But no. You're just too fast spoken that someone has to take an Evelyn Wood course just to keep up with you. An empty victory. Your doom rises in the east. <laughs> all right. Now, what all did he really say? Since I missed half of what he said there. Okay. Well, I am hardly surprised that you stand here before me. These grave robbers are weak and soft. They lack the resolve that my benefactors seek. They believe they were chosen by the eye to serve. Such fools they're merely a tool for my people still they delayed you long enough these men you aid are beyond helping they would sooner fight amongst themselves than against the foe my people will engulf this land in terror and when at last the dark shadow of our master falls upon this realm both rohan and gondor shall fall neither you the impotent fools upon the field, or these pitiful Condorians, will stand in our way. You only delay our fate. Submit! And then later, an empty victory. Your doom rises in the east. Hmm. Ominous. The Easterling is vanquished, and our search is at an end. But this man brings grim tidings for the days to come. 
If his people are truly as strong as he claims, the horse lords have much to fear. Come, let us depart. You must bring word to your allies immediately. Oh yes, I need to do that. Oh, the game couldn't drop us in a more convenient location, couldn't it? The day is ours, Petronella. I was not certain what we would face in those ruins, but it eases me to know that Os Celebrant is once again in the hands of my people and our allies. Your journey is far from over, but the light in this moment of peace. Oh, yeah. Journey far from over. Do I at least get decent gloves out of this? Uh, of course. Well, let's see. Mm, probably better for a warden than for a burglar. But... Oh, physical mastery. Maybe I will keep that. Yeah, I'll keep that after all. There you go. The battle is won. You fought with such valor, and I am proud to have served at your side. I sense my oath remains unfulfilled, as I still linger at your side. I fear that some other threat remains beyond our sight. You have done well, and I have yet to move to speak. But now is not the time. I will return to my post amongst my men. When you can, come, speak with me. All right. Fine. I'll speak with you. Alas, I didn't have the same shortcut that this guy had. It is good to see you again, Petronella. With my ancient enemy again defeated, I feel at ease. My curse may not be lifted, but I know that along with you, I was able to stand against my foe without the fear that consumed me so long ago. The Horse Lords have a strong ally in you. Take the knowledge you have gleaned from our battle in the ruins and bring it to them. I sense the rumblings of a larger conflict in the near future. As for me, I will remain with my men. They lie in disarray, and it is my hope that I can one day rally them to my side again. Glory for Gondor! Farewell. Farewell. And hopefully, hopefully their curse will one day be lifted. Now, I wonder if you ever do come back here to find out if anything ever happened with this, because... Now, I don't know what the state of things in here is now that the war is over in, in the higher levels, when you're at 120 or something like that, is if you could come back here, see what state everything is in here. I know they don't have different instance versions of an area this large, but who knows, maybe an instance or something like that could tell us if these Oathbreakers have finally been given some relief. I have no idea. I suppose we have to get rid of some Jangovar first, probably. Will you aid the horse lords? You set siege to Os Celebrant by yourself? If it were anyone else, I would think him mad, but I believe your tale. The threat that Easterling posed was great, and it is well with shame that I admit my blindness to his presence. The danger of more organized brigands serving under the eye, no less was a great concern. Nevertheless, your work here with my men and me is finished. Your contribution to our plight has been immense, and it has been an honor to serve with you. To the east, more of my fellows are making forays in the rush gore. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to have time for that little one. But that concludes our little time here in Ost Celebrant. Maybe we should have brought Bingo Boffin along. That would have made for a very exciting chapter in his book. Oh, we are off the edge of old Bilbo's map now, for certain. I do not really know where we should go next, Petronella. We are off the edge of old Bilbo's map now, and our steps have taken us into unknown territory. 
we could travel into the kingdom of Rohan proper, I suppose, but, well, maybe there is another course we should take. They love their horses, you see. Look around at how many of the equine figures they have carved into the buildings here in Stangard. And this is a mere outpost and beyond the bounds of the kingdom. For my part, I have never really liked horses very much. They are so large and frightening, always stamping around with their heavy hooves and snapping at unwary hobbits with their strong teeth. I was almost bitten by a horse when I was in my tweens, you know, and I have never managed to forgive the things. Do you think you could nip down to the eastern gate of Stangard and ask Sovert if we might enjoy a walking tour of the kingdom of Rohan? It is not a very large place, is it, right? If our feet will be just fine, then I say that's where we should do, and leave the horses quite out of it. All right, well, I just hope that Sovert is in one of his polite moods when we do this. Well, after what we did to the Easterlings, he does owe us a polite answer, I would hope. Hello there, Sobert. I was wondering if you could tell me what you think about a walking tour of Rohan. What brings you to these lands? Is the Kingdom of Rohan suitable for experiencing on foot? You're asking if it is a good idea to walk from one end of Rohan to the other instead of riding a horse. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. The good news is that we gave him the best laugh he's had in weeks. Is Rohan small enough? For us to walk across it. And what did Savart say about walking across Rohan? Uh, what? Well, he would say that though, wouldn't he? Uh, the Rohirrim certainly do love their horses. I do not feel the need to climb aboard one of those fearsome beasts. I say we walk. What do you think, Petronella? Is this our adventure or Savart's? I say we can use the exercise. Speak with me when you're ready to begin our walk into Rohan. Ooh. Let's go and have a little walking tour of Rohan. I am ready for a good bit of walking, if you are. Yes, I would never have suggested this at the start of our journey, but now we are seasoned adventurers, and I'm not afraid of the prospect of such a hike. Okay. Thanks to his fear of horses, Bingo has decided that his journey in Rohan will take place on foot. Yeah, let's see how this works. A walk will do both of us some good, Petronella. We do not need to ride horses in Rohan. Our feet will serve us just fine. If you do not believe me, just walk with me and see. You will be amazed at how quickly the time passes once we are moving again, my friend. Who needs horses? Yeah, who needs horses? My feet are ready to do some walking. These feet are made for walking, and that's what they're going to do? Yes, this way, Petrona. Rohan awaits. One of these ways, these feet are going to walk right over you? <laughs> okay. There we go. Look at this bridge. Yep, uh, this is over the limb light. Uh, I see, see that those runes there? I just a battle there, yes. Uh, how large is this Kingdom of Rohan anyway? Mm, oh, I'd say... Oh, would you say it is as large as the Shire? Uh, I think you could contain a couple of Shires inside of it, maybe. Uh, this bridge is longer than it looks. Well, it, it, it's a wide river. Yes. Not quite as wide as a... Anduini, of course. Uh, Willem ran ahead. He's probably on the other side of it already. Well, that's possible. Uh, this looks like a lovely land. Yeah. All right, so far. We've only seen the beginning. Oh, why would anyone want to rush past all this beauty on horseback? Maybe to take less than a week to get across? Okay, uh, less than a month. Yes, uh, some people like horses. I don't understand these people. Yeah. Uh, they're big, biting beasts. I've never liked them. Apparently not. Well, then. 
Well, here we go, continuing along. I can understand why the people of Rohan are so fond of those things. Well, th th there's a long story behind that, yeah. I'm sure there is. Everyone has their own little likes. There you go. All right, we found Willem. Entering Rohan. Hello, Willem. Uh, what do you think of Rohan so far? Oh, this is just the beginning, I'm sure. Hello there. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I was, I'm sorry. Yeah, it did take us a little while. Sorry about that. Hmm. Oh. Something's going on here. Uh, I, I think we've got orcs. Yeah. Oopsie daisy. Orcs. Yeah. Thankfully, we got Willem on our side. Willem Whisker to the rescue. Yeah. Oh, oh our first orc killed in Rohan. Oh. Many more to go, I'm sure. Many more to go. Oops, and, and there are more workers. There you go. Oh, see, Willem knows which one to attack. Knows not to break the crowd control or anything like that. There you go. Well, okay. Unless I crowd control both of them at the same time. But, that's the problem of things sometimes. Ah, oh, my shot at yourself. Alright, there you go. Any more orcs? Uh, no. Hail, travelers! I see you're not friends of the orcs. <laughs> nope, we're not. Oh, hello there. Looks like a Rohiric woman if I've ever seen one. I am Ilwulf, and I am on an errand of some haste, for the message I bear must come to Stangard as quickly as it may. I will not tarry long, though it seems we four share a hatred of orcs, and could spend some time swapping tales. Hello there, uh, I am Petronella Turner, and my friend here is Bingo Buffin. Bingo. Yes. I did not see you raise any weapons against the orcs. Uh, well, bingo. I am really more of a writer than a fighter. A bard, then? Uh, er, er, no, uh, not really. Oh, good. I never much liked bards. <laughs> oh, where's your horse, bingo? A long story. I don't have one. I didn't think I needed one. Yeah. Oh, you're a strange little fellow. <laughs> uh, get a horse. Uh, there are towns nearby that should have one for you. Farewell, friends. And take care within the mark. Apparently she gets along better with horses than you do. She seemed to be very nice, but I think Ilf is wrong about the necessity of a horse in Rohan. I have done just fine until now, have I not? As we would not have appreciated the bridge back there nearly as much if we galloped or cantered or trotted past it at speed, would we? No, we would not have. So, Igluf said there are towns not far from here. Let us find one of them and continue in our journey on foot. Here we are in Langhold, our first settlement that we have found here in Rohan. Yet, what about that letter we received from Galadriel? Wow, Bingo takes in the sights. I think we need to nip back over to La Florian and find out what's happening over there. And that's where I'll meet you in the next episode of Piney Plays, The Burglar.